Last year I went to Mexico for vacation and decided to pick up something I had avoided buying for a long time, a GoPro. The reason I finally broke down was I wanted to do some underwater shooting and did not want to ruin my iPhone. I'll link to the video I created with it below. A GoPro is a cool tool though and the best at what it does, action footage. So now vacation is over, how am I going to use this GoPro? One idea is to use it to do time lapses and overheads. Since the lens is so wide, it makes it very easy and interesting to use. You pretty much turn it on and everything's in focus. I needed an amount to make this happen though. I researched online and found a very cool 3D printed option from Instructables that works with bar clamps. If you never use bar clamps, it's one of my favorite tools and are super handy. I've had great luck with the Irwin ones after trying some cheaper models. The issue with the 3D printed model was that it was $39 to print, so that's a deal breaker. But what about using an umbrella holder? So I put it in and it actually works. This GoPro has a tripod socket accessory and is screwed onto a male spigot that came with the umbrella holder. I picked this one up a, cu a couple of years ago and I'll try to link to it. The thing that makes it work is the tear shaped hole on the bottom. It's wide enough to fit the bar and secure it. The way, it, the way to make it better though is to have the screw on the side rather than the back. Here's some quick shots I set up with the GoPro. So I hope you guys enjoyed this cheap trick. I think um, you can use other umbrella holders as long as they uh, fit over the bar. And remember to uh, like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys again pretty soon. Thanks, bye.